Hey guys, today at Art Club of Miss Burford we'll be creating these super quick Rudolph decorations. You will need a brown paper plate or a white one that's been painted, some PVA glue, a brown felt tip pen, a print stick, a red pom pom, some googly eyes and some lollipop sticks. There is a little bit of prep for this lesson but it's hardly anything. All you need to do is just to trim some lollipop sticks, keep some longer because these are going to be the main part for the antlers and trim some other bits. These are a bit tricky for the children to do so just use some scissors and chop these up. The first step to make your Rudolph reindeer is to fold the paper plate in half. You don't need to glue it, just fold it in half. So then when you've got your semicircle, fold it in half again so that you then have a quarter of a circle. Then unfold it again so you've just got your semicircle and add some glue to this side. Not PVA glue because this will take ages to dry but your print stick and then you can spread this all over this semicircle. I would suggest putting on as much as you can to secure it into place and then fold it back over and use your hand to firmly press down and glue the two sides together so that you have a quarter of a circle again. Now get some kitchen roll or some paper towel and lay the lollipop sticks on there so that you're protecting the table that you're going to be colouring on and just use your felt tip pen, your brown felt tip pen and colour in these lollipop sticks as neatly as you can. Colour in all the long ones and the shorter ones so for each child they'll want two long ones and then about four or six shorter lollipop sticks. Then you can add your facial features, so just add some print stick to a red pom pom and stick this at the point of your uh, semicircle, and then glue some googly eyes onto the face as well. So you might have some that you just peel the backs off or you might need to add some glue like mine, but you can put them close together or further apart. This is where the personality of the different Rudolphs really shine through. And if you don't have googly eyes, you could just draw them on with a black felt tip pen. Next, you can start adding your antlers. So you can slip the long lollipop sticks into where you folded the plate over. So that way you don't see the antlers at the back or the front of your Rudolph. And just glue them into place with PVA glue. And add the shorter lollipop sticks to the long lollipop stick. So you've got the smaller parts to the antler. So you want the rounded part of the lollipop stick to stick out and use the PVA glue to join the small lollipop stick to the big one on the side which has been cut. You can make the antlers so that both antlers are even so they have the same amount of small lollipop sticks or you can make them uh, slightly different, it's completely up to the individual. Just make sure that there's uh, smaller lollipop sticks on either side of the long lollipop. You may want to flip Rudolph over onto his front whilst the glue dries so that the lollipop sticks are being propped up into place. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art lessons like this every week and other art related content every now and then. See you next week for more Art Club with Miss Burford.